we will discuss pharmacognosy of cotton cotton is also called as a raw cotton or absorbent cotton it is also called as a surgical cotton or purified cotton cotton consists of epidermal trichomes or hairs of the seeds of cultivated species of a gossypium herbacea gossypium herbaceum gossypium barbadense gossypium hirsutum belonging to the family malvaceae so in short cotton consists of epidermal trichomes or hairs of seeds of a different species of a gossypium and all belongs to the family malvaceae cotton is mainly cultivated in united states egypt and some parts of africa and india gossypium herbaceum is the indigenous species in india it is native to semi desert condition like in sub saharan africa and in arabia it is widely cultivated in ethiopia and also in persia afghanistan turkey north america spain ukraine turkestan and china so gossypium herbaceum mainly cultivated in india and apart from that it is cultivated in different countries like sub saharan africa arabia ethiopia persia afghanistan turkey north africa spain ukraine turkestan and china gossypium arboreum or it is also called as a pakistani indian cotton it is native to the northwest india and pakistan gossypium hirsutum or it is also called as a mexican cotton gossypium hirsutum are found in coastal vegetation of central and southern north america and also in the west indies gossypium barbadense or it is also called as a south american cotton it is mainly cultivated in west indies and south america mainly it is cultivated in barbados which is a part of a west indies cotton is cultivated by means of seed sowing method so propagation of the cotton is by a seed then the seeds are sown in the rows of about 4 to 5 feet in a distance the cotton plants are shrubs or small trees that bear fruits after flowering so after flowering uh, the cotton plant bears the fruit and it is also called as a capsule and in which the seeds are present the capsule consists of 3 to 5 seeds and is covered with hairs the balls are collected when ripe separated from capsule dried and subjected to the ginning press for processing so the balls are collected when ripe that means the capsule is open and the ball consists of the hair like trichomes so these are separated from the capsule dried and subjected to the ginning press for the further processing in ginning process hairs and seeds are put before the roller with a small space which separates the trichomes from the seed so after putting it into the roller the first step is separation of the trichomes from the seeds so the trichomes or the hairs are separated from the seeds the short and long hairs are separated by a delinter now the short hairs are known as a linters which is shown in this figure the short hairs are also known as a linters which are used in the manufacturing of inferior grade cotton wool whereas long hairs are used for the preparation of a cloth so in short the short hairs and long hairs are separated so in first step the separation of the seeds and trichomes then second step the short and long hairs are separated from each other by delinter 
and the seeds remain after the removal of hair is used for the preparation of cotton seed oil and oil cake for domestic animal feed the raw cotton so obtained is full of impurities like the coloring matter and fatty material so the cotton which is prepared by this method is consisting a uh, impurities and the impurities like coloring matter and fatty material it is present in this raw cotton to purify that it is then subjected to the further purification process and it is followed by treating it with a dilute soda as solution under pressure for about 15 hours then it is bleached and washed properly dried and packed and the packed cotton is then sterilized using radiation so the mature cotton ball now the plant bears a fruit and then after ripening the fruit is converted a uh, fruit bears a cotton ball so it is then harvested okay so the cotton ball is harvested and this is pht so it is a post harvest thrash so the material which is not required it is thrown away so it is called as a thrash then the material which is required that means a uh, balls are taken to the ginning press now in ginning press the important part that is a cotton lint is taken and then the fiber and others are prepared by this so in ginning press the second thing you will get that is a cotton seeds so after separation of cotton lint that means the hairs from the seed you will get a cotton seed and that cotton seeds may be used for the preparation of cotton seed oil or cotton seed meal then the third part it is also considered as a waste part so that is cgt it is used for the preparation of landfill or compost or livestock feed so this is the summary how the cotton is prepared the cotton is cylindrical when young but becomes flattened and twisted as it matures the color is white or slightly off white if it is a sterilized then it is 2.5 to 4.5 cm in length and 25 to 35 micron in diameter it is odorless and tasteless and appearance is soft fine filament like hairs which are unicellular cotton consists of 90% of cellulose which is an important ingredient of cotton so it consists of 90% of cellulose 7 to 8% of moisture wax fat and oil and cell content about 0.5% so the important constituent of cotton is a cellulose and apart from that it consists of the moisture and the other material which is present includes wax fat and oil purified cotton has almost cellulose and 6 to 7 percent of moisture now many fibers are available on ignition cotton burns with a flame gives a very little odor or fumes and it does not produce a bead and a leaves a small white ash so when burns with a flame it gives a very little odor or fumes and it does not produce a bead and leaves a small white ash dried cotton is moistened with n by 15 iodine and 80 percent weight by weight sulfuric acid then a blue color is produced with ammonical copper oxide solution raw cotton dissolve with ballooning leaving a few fragments of a cuticle absorbent cotton dissolves completely with uniform swelling in cold sulfuric acid cotton dissolve 
it does not give red stain with fluoroglycinol and hydrochloric acid in cold sulfuric acid cotton is insoluble and in warm hydrochloric acid at 40 degree centigrade it is insoluble in that so in hydrochloric acid it is insoluble while in cold sulfuric acid it is also insoluble and it is insoluble in 5% potassium hydroxide solution cotton is used as a filtering medium and in a surgical dressings and absorbent cotton absorbs blood pus mucus and prevent infection in wound 